All right, guys, I'm gonna do something really dumb here. So, I'm, I've just put this stupid, huge <laughs> milling cutter on this small bridge port. This thing takes eight cutters, and it's about six inches in diameter. Uh, way, way, way too big. Uh, it's an R8 uh, Arbor, um, so it's really not meant for, for something like this. This is a, a custom Arbor that a machinist had made. Um, but again, this machine is only a one, one half horsepower. So I'm just going to take a relatively light cut, uh, 9 thou. Um, it's not a full 9 because the top isn't uh, completely flat, but I'm going to deck it out first. I've never run this. This is the first time. I just got this uh, yesterday over the weekend with a bunch of other tooling. I want to try this out, see how stupid this is, <laughs> and if it doesn't work out, I'll sell it. But I, and I've also removed, uh, so I only got four cutters in here, four of the eight, just uh, to take some load off. So um, the other thing is this mill doesn't not, doesn't, on its lowest setting, doesn't run slow enough. So this thing is already running faster than it should. But anyway, let's give it a shot and see what happens. taking a deeper and deeper cut as it was climbing so uh, I was getting pretty heavy towards the end but I mean yeah it's right at the limit I'll show you some uh, chips here this the chips are coming off uh, quite hot they're blue blue and uh, and straw colored um, yeah this uh, that was a bit scary there <coughs> See if this comes up on camera. I guess it's hard to tell the color. Yeah, maybe you can see the color there a little bit, but there's some straw, there's some blue. Um, and as you can see, that was really, uh, that was really loud. <laughs> but let's uh, take a closer look at the finish because uh, it doesn't look too bad. Let's see, what am I looking at here? Here we go. So, yeah, the, um, I mean, it, it feels really good. It's, it's rougher here, as it was taking a deeper cut, really quite nice here, where it was taking about a uh, four, four thou cut. But as it got here, it was probably taking more like a ten, ten thou cut, uh, if not more. So, um, a little rougher. But, uh, and this is hard steel too. This is some kind of tool steel or 4140. I think it's 4140. Uh, it's not labeled, but uh, it came out of a pile of tool steel. Um, and I believe this may be 4140. Um, it's got these saw marks on the side as well too, which is, you know, not typical of, um, you know, mild steel. But uh, anyway, so maybe I won't be throwing this thing away. It, uh, um, it, does, it does take cuts, but... Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it would be nice if I could really <laughs> jam it in there, but it's not going to happen. Uh, that was already struggling at uh, at about a maximum of a, of a ten thou cut. So, yeah, maybe uh, maybe we'll keep her around for a little uh, while longer. Um, you know, uh, maybe try to reduce it to two um, two inserts and uh, see how it goes. But anyway, there we go.